Largest Ministries Global introduces Apostle Tony A. Kalema to unleash the pattern and unsearchable riches in God's Word to give you practical application in your work of faith. For more information, you can contact us on 0778-630265 or 0200-900-824 or you can reach us on all social media platforms under Hackers Doxa. Download our app from Google Play Store or App Store or you can reach us on our website www.hackersministriesglobal.org Remember, the word of God is Ila brala zandra kosi katala brale zele kete posi katala bralo zula katala bralo zile kete le kosta Ila zalo kosi le proro zule kete le brablo rozundra brala katala barangara zandra kata Na katala brando rozule kele prokosi katala bralo skala brale Ile zentro kosi katala brando rozula Ma zandara bazula katala brando rokosi kete le brali zule kete Mishu kete le kosi Zikatala branda razandra kosi kele prorozo Lizo roko tolo brando rozula katala brala katala pradike Meke seke tele prorozo loko tolo poso roko tele gara pradia Ma katala branda razandra rabo stara prara Rabo stara braro stara katala brande reke zeke tele pradia Meshe tele kosi katala brande rezentro kosi katala pradia Ma katala bara sara katala pranda razan trakata ila rostara pranda la katala prali keze ketele praki sokotoya ile keze ketele prendo rozus tele ketele prali la stara prarara rantala prando rozondo rokosi katala prande ne keze ketele kosi katala pranda la zala bosta le keze ketele prande kosi katala pranda razan trokosi kataya ila landa razondo rozondo rozondo roba mandala prala kaza Zakatal Randa Razara Baros Tara Prala Kataya Makatara Prandoros Tekete Legezeketele Prandi Kazuntre Mekezeketele Kostara Praraba Mekezeketele Prendere Kesekele Pro Katala Prara Rizara Katala Prakosi Katala Prara Rikaza Katala Prara Zontro Kote Rikaza Kostara Pranda Razantrea Resele Proro Sula Kata Resele Proro Kosukoto Reseketele Prandi Rosuntre Mezekete 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 Prande Rezontro Mishu Katala Prakasa Randra Prakatala Katala Prani Kazantrea Meshu Stara Katala Prando Rosusta Katala Prara Mentre Posta Katala Gazantro Liga Zontre Kesere Praraba, yes, Sere Posta, yes, Sere Prere Ketere Prara Katara Prara, yes, at the sound of your name, every knee shall bow in the name of Jesus Christ, make a Sundra Prana Kazantra Kata. Azon droko soko tolo proro sustere kete li prando rozon trekete le branda razantria ila zara para katala para kata rantala para zara katala para stara prare mentre posi katala gazantro ila branda razantre le proro soro kotolo prara le sete le kete le branda razantra katala prara mishu katala branda razantra ila zoro prosi katala prare centro kosi kete le se prando rozon Let's say friend the Kele Prali Kata Masha Tala Prana Zara Paranda Razantra Rasa Katala Barazara Kosi Katala Prana Meshere Proro Sulekete Ila Pranda Razantra Yaza Parandoro Sustere Kete Ileke Zekete Le Prali Kata Masha Tra Prala Kasa Kata Rakatala Prandoro Sustere Kele Prakitala Prana Yezele Prandoro Zontro Ila Prakazan Kosta Kataya Yezekete Le prabu zoko tolo pradia meshele brada zara para kata rantra pranda la zaka tala prada meshu kata la pranda la zantrea ya zara kazoko tolo pradi kaza kata ya in the name of Jesus le pranda kese kete le prada meshu stara kaza kata ya ila prada zara baya. Azanta la pradi kata la prada zo rosoko tolo prande kese ndro. Isandra prakatala praketala prala, nashikatala prandarazaya, ya prala kasoko tolo brala.
Dorozo stekete, ila zantra kasintro kolo pralia, mezele bazolo po, mezele kazantra ba, mezele keleke zentre, mezeke zeke le postara prali, mezeke tele prali zana prale kachara prala, mashata la barazara kataya, yata katala prandoro zoro kotele prala, in the name of Jesus, ileke zeke tele prala zantro kotea, ila zantre keseke tele prali kataya, meshu katala Brandoro Zuste, in La Catala Brandoro Zuketele Prada, Majara Parastala Cataya Prada, in La Zantra Catala Prada, in La Zeleketele Brandoro Susta Cata, Masha Tala Prada, Macatala Prada Catala Prada, Zabju in Vulcanality, in the name of Jesus Christ, Losu Catala Prada, make a telebranda Zantria, Meso Cotolo Bradica Zantre, make a telebrada Catala Prada, inviting men to the mountain of godliness, inviting men to the life of godliness in the name of Jesus. Lesele kele prakoskara prada, leseke tele prandoro zuste, ila prakata la prada kazantra ya, ya parasa kata la bara zantra ya, ya la zantre ke tele pradi kata, ila zantre kosi kata la prada, ila zende kele prono koso kotolo prada, mashata la prada, makata la prada kata ya, liga zantre ke seke tele prada, that as we look into this word of God, we are continually changed into the same image, last Central. Zeketele prakizanta, me the droko zika tala brada, ilazan treke seketele brada, me entrepos tala kataya, yes kala katala brada, me na change thereby, ilazan traka tala brada, oro soko tolo brada kataya, ila katala brada, a complete change of mind, a complete change oro si katala brada, les entreke tele brada sa kataya, this what takes effect in our mindset, in our si katala brande, me shu katala brada, Thinking patterns of God. Let's subando rosundu kosi kata ila brada kazantre kele kostara kata misha kata la brada. Yes, it influences even our flesh. Orosu kata la brada, masha kata la brada. From the crown of our heads, of God. <coughs> the soles of our feet. Los sukata la brada. This word influences us. This word it sasa po God. Leke seke tele brada. Ma zanda la prali kata. Ma kata la branda la zantre ya. Liza roko sukoto. Liza pranda la zantre kete. Meke tele brozira prada. Meke tele gezentre kete. Meke tele kostara prada. Meke tele gele kostara prada. Me los toro kotolo prada. Ara zantra kata. Ala prando rosu kataya. Ala pranda la zantre kete ya. Me shula pranda la zantra ya. Ya para kata la baraza. Rasata la pranda la zakata. Ma kata li brolo sontro kote. Ilaga zantre kisa kataya. Ya pra kata la Gara pranda ya me los toko tolo brada stara kata ya ilaga seke tele brada stara brada me kosi kata la pranda la zantra ya ilaga soko tele brada la zantra la zantra la zantra la zantra la zapo stara ndoro zuste me zentre kele kastara brada ele zoro storo kotoro brada kata me shu kata la pranda la brada yes so God le prende a manner of life of God le prende ke zeke tele brada ma shi kata la pranda ro zuste he lagas and trek at Telebrada. My God, it takes effect to God. Leco si catala brada, Mesu catala brada. It has to be by the word. Les entreke santa, me catala bragasa, me catala bragasa, me catala bragasiketea. Yes, so God, we see it takes shape in the name of Jesus. Leca seca telebrada. It is a reflection. Oro sura brandaya, me cazantra cataya, he lazantra cataya, he lacaza catala. Ile prondoro sukataya, yes, our speech in the name of Jesus, oro sukatala brada. We speak as of those, los sura gatala brada, that are influenced by the word, that under this influence of God, in the name of Jesus Christ, le kosi kata, i prende le zentro, i la zala prande, i la kaza katala prada, na shata la banda raza, la kasa katala prando kosi kataya, meke zeke tele prando rosuste kete, i la kasa katala prando rosusta, i la kaza katala prada katala prada, yo madma makasantra, 
Lagazantra Katala Brara. This word is made manifest in us, so God. It is made manifest in us, so God. There is a truth about the word that eats us up. There is a truth about the word that is constructed in us. There is a truth about the word. Lekezekete Ilazala Parakata Mashata La Brara Lazanta La Prani Kataya Makatala Prandele Santraya Ilagazantra Katala Brara Dara Sikatele Brara Ilakasakatala Brara Yes, so God, we create a hunger and thirst for the word. We create lost super and Arabaya. Men lose appetite for it in the name of Jesus. Men lose sleep for it in the name of Jesus. Orozondro Kozoho Gozo 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 Pranda Katara Pradia Legezeketele Branda Rasantraya. It shall be said that in our generation, Masi Katala Brara, men desired the word more than the Sisia Milko God. Legezeketele Brara, men desired the word more than any other food. Men desired the word more than anything else. So, God, Meseketele Gara Prara, La Santra Katala Brara, in thy Losida Prara, La Zakatala Brara, La Katala Pranda Kazakataya. Yes, give us the word, O God, La Kasi Katala Prara. It is what we want. It is all Seketele. It is all that we desire for. Masura Pranda, Randara Zantra, I Prandara Zakataya, Mekezeketele Gezen. Bro. Gila prada zantre kete, gila pranda rasore kete le brada, gila sureke seke tele brondo rosontro, i preke zentro kosi kataya, leke zeke tele pranda zantra ba, rata la kata la brada, leke seke tele prarosti kata, we pick sense from it, we pick direction from it, o shi kata la brada zentro, rosso kata la brada, as the Bible says, that those that find it, it has become food to their souls, leke si kata la brada, and my the sin of God to their flesh king of glory. Masila prada zantala prada rantala katala prada katala prada rantala kazantra kosi kataya ilaza kataya meke zekete leke zele prokosira mantra prada zantri kezentro ilagazon rebos dara brada rezendro kozindre kete ileko si katala brada sire boho orosoro borosundro kotele bradi oroso prorosoro kotele Brandara, Rantelega, Rantelega, Rantele Brozon Brekete, Ranteke Zentre Kizakata, Kizakatara Prandoro Suste, Meshusta Kataya, Lakazakatara Prarosta, Ila Prandoro Suste Kete, Mentre Postara Brara, Ila Kazantro Costa, Costara Prakata, Mandara Zantra Paracata, Ranta Katara Bara Zara Bara Katara, Rantra Prada Katara Brara, Meshu Katara Brara, Yes, Oka. We are children of the word. We are children of the word, O God. Leseke tele brara. Meshu katara brara. Oshi katara brara. We are made of this very word. Lesen treko sikataya. Ilazan trakate ne postara. It our, it's our inheritance. In the name of Jesus. Lesuste kete. We celebrate the word. Leko sikata. Ilazan trapasta. Rakata laga sakata la brara. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lepo sikata la branda. Mazakata la brara. O shira brara. O jikete. Mentre posta kata. Makazakata la brara. Rantala zantreke. Ligue Zeke tele costa, O Sida Prarosta Rabara, Antala Branda Rasantra Catala Prikete, Mere Pocosta Rapra, Meleke tele Gatalabra, Meleke tele Gostelege, Meleke tele Gotocosa, Meleke le Prondorosso, Meleke tele Branda Rasa, Meleke tele Gostinre, Meleke tele Postelege tele Bro, Mila Prondorosso stay, Hila Prada Catala Brada, Rantoro Zoro Cotolo Bo, Rosso Tolo Boro Zoro Boro Cosicata, Adacata. Tala branda razantra ila kasa katala branda regezentro meshusta rando rozontro ra branda zantra kata ila zantre ketele branda razantre ya meshinda ra branda rozontro. Ila posta la brada, ila prende que tele brada, ila preke se que tele brada, ila proko si katara brada, ila pranda la santra katara ba, ma shata la brada santra kataya, the young and old, le su katara brada, the youthful o God, in the name of Jesus, le kosi katara brando, li gazantra katara brada, re se que tele brada, el si katara brada, the word takes cosinas, me shu kataya, there's establishment, there's a founding, 
in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, she like a central. Oh, Rosondro go telebrande. Me zende de zentre. Me zende de zentre. Me zende de zentre. Me zeke telebara stara barakata. Rantara gasa katara baram. Mantara brada kata. Ilazono kosi kata. Ilaza katara brada. Even to our hearers. Oh, Rosu katara brada. It stars them up, oh God. Le seke telebrado to godliness. It stars them up, oh God. To righteousness, it stirs them up, oh God, to a right living in the name of Jesus. Cautiously, my God, teaching them masukataya, the denying ungodliness. Lesekatele brara santra kataya, which should live soberly. Masakataya, this is the grace that comes with the word. Le prende le centro kosi mantra pranda kazakataya as it builds itself in us. Oro sukatala brara, this in osikataye mentre kosi de brondo make a zentre ke seketea ila kasaka tala brando me suka tala brada santra ila kala prada kata ila katala brada sa ila katala brada sa ila katala brada sa ila brada sa rakata mrokote Mele prendo rosu stara prada, leke seke tele prada, leke seke tele proko sikata, ileke seke tele prendo rosu sta, mazanda la zantra, razandra la zantra la zantra ka, la zandra la zandra la zandra, orosure pro rosu kata, leke ze, leke ze, leke ze posta kata la brada, la sakata la brada sakata ya, makata la brada sikata ya, leke seke tele prando rosu ste, milo koso, orosun bra parando. Rosunse, mezendre ze 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 bara sida ba, mezele ke se ke tele pro rosuste, le ke se ke tele prano rosukata, mashata la bara za, rata kata la brala kata, rata kata la brano rosukote, mekete mekete le brande le zentre, hila zentra kosi kata la brando, orokote le gata la brada, yes Mike, le ke soko tele brando, me shula gasa kata, hila prano rosuste le get. Le posta katala branda la zantrea Ila gazantra katala brando rosusta Le gezeke tele brali kasantro Me gezeke tele brada Rasasta la kata Rasasta katala brada Rasasta katala brando Rakatene gozi kata Ila kasa katala brada Ila kasa katala brando Me gezendre Ila pasa katala brada katala brada Mandra posta la Randra posta de gete Ilo soro kotoro bradiga Glory Glory, glory, Meshu Katala Brando, Legese Katele Brada, we fly with it, we run with it, Losoko Tolo Brada, Mashi Katala Brando, we are proud of it, Lesen Roko Sindra Pa, Mashatali Brada Zandre, Eleze, hey, Leze Katele Bo, Reze Katele Brodo, Reze Katele Broko Z, Gizoko Soko Tolo Branda, Mashatala Brada Zandraka, Ratala Brada Katala Brande, Meshe Katele Brada. Ali Kaza. Je te le posta la brada, je que te le prende le zentro, je que te le prende le zosokoto, me chou la branda la zantrapa, rakata la bara si kata la brado. Thank you, Lord. We thank you for this word. 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 Thank you for its availability. For the men that continually feed us with this word, we thank you. For the different channels. Through which we dispense the word, we thank you. Orosu katala brada bazantra, la kaza katala branda razentre kete, legeze kete le brado stara brada, osi katala branda razantra ya. For the spirit of revelation that works in us, Lord, we thank you. Lese kete le bando rozundre, ila zantra katala brada zantra kata, legeze kete le brada zantra kata ya. For the wisdom that works in us, that is caused by the word, my God. We thank you. Lezeke tele prando rozontro. Ila prala zantra katala brada. Meshi katala brada zontreka. Leke zeke tele prando rosuste dekete. Meshi katala branda zantra kata. Ala zakatala brada. For the effects of the word upon our souls and spirits. Upon our flesh we thank you. May God lapa zantra kataya. Upon our manner of life. My God we thank you. Upon our thought patterns thing of glory. We thank 
Sikataya for the establishment that comes by the word. Lake Ezekitea for the planting that comes by the word. We thank you, Makazantra, Rasata la Branda Raza, Lakazakata la Brakatara. Ketele Kostara Brando Rosusta, Lazara Bara Sarava, Rakata La Braro Stara Brara, Ila Zara Bae, Lesen Rokosikata, Ila Kasakata La Gosta, Legezeketele Prendekete, Legezeketele Keseketea, Legezeketele Posteregete, Ilo Kosukata La Brando Rosuste, Ilo Zoro Kotele Brando Rosusteke, Ila Kasakata La Branda Kataya, Mashata La Brara Zoro Koto, Roko Seketele. Gazala Brari, Roko Seketele Bostere Getea, Ligazala Prandoro Sustecetea, Ilazara Baroste, Ilezere Bosta, Rezere Bosta, Nazara Barandara Zandra Parastacata, La Catala Brandara Zantra Kistele Broro, O Shira Broro, Sire Broro, O Sheketele Brende Zero, Lezeketele Cosi Catala Brara, Mashata La Brari. Oh, thank you. Shekete le brando rosusta, lizoro kosi kete le brando rosuste kete, li kata la branda la zamtra kosi katai, o shira brada zamtra kosi kata la bro la brada. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Abba Father. We thank you, thank you, thank you. We thank you for the privilege of having this word. We thank you, Lord. We thank you. Razala katala bosta la kaseke te la boros zikatae. Oh, she katala brarosi la brare sheke te legosi zala bosta la brara. Oro boroso katala brara brana kasakata. Glory to God. Glory to God forevermore. Glory to God. <clears throat> Hallelujah. Praise the Lord Jesus. Praise Jesus Christ. We thank the Lord for today. For the beautiful day this is. We thank the Lord for the opportunity that we have gotten to share into the word. We thank him for his praises. The Bible says that even his grace endures forever. His mercy endures forever. Oh, we thank him. It's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day. Oh, shere brodo sula katala brari, jala katala posta katala brari, ele zentro kosi katala brara sandra kataya, masha katala brado si katala brado ste, o jele ke se ke tele posta la brari, jaka katala posta, e she ke tele kosi le brodo zolo kotolo brosi la brara zamtra katala brara. Praise Jesus Christ. Praise Jesus Christ. Um, today is a beautiful day. <clears throat> I'm privileged and honored to be the one sharing the word today. Praise the Lord. Um, and to take this opportunity to honor the anointing that falls upon my father that covers me, Apostle Tony Arnold Kalema. Um, it's a blessing to be covered by such a man. He's a wonderful teacher. He has directed our paths. Praise the Lord. He's a founder of the Hagios Ministries Global. We, we give glory to God and all the ministers in the, in the Hagios family, fraternity. We, we love you so much. My name is Pastor Solomon Kasule Malakai, uh, my proud son in the ministry uh, you're so much welcome you're so much welcome for this live broadcast uh, it's uh, it's a beautiful day it's a beautiful day it's a beautiful day you know sometimes i think about the blessedness that comes with the word and uh, i imagine whether the Christendom can understand what really we have with the word. Because the word, it, it's, a, it's a pleasure to have this word. The word is, the word is life. The word, 
the word how can you live without the word sometimes you you, you may ask questions and you have no answers like you cannot really ask a question how can a christian live without the word of god the word of god is everything that we need the bible says that he even raised the word above his name but remember primarily we know that all knees shall bow at the sound of the name praise the lord there's a blessedness that comes with the word we need to get hold of it we need to to love it we need to learn how to fellowship with the word we need to learn how to give ourselves to the word we need to learn how to be built up with the word learn how to allow the word to work in us because without the word we have no essence praise the lord the word is all that we have it's our inheritance it's our it's our all and all it's our answers it's our peace it's our everything the word the word is something that we should be celebrating all the time at all times praise jesus christ oh when we start talking about the word of god you there's an excitement that comes remember uh, sometimes with colleagues we, we we used to have overnights of the word and, and, and we are not praying but we are studying the word uh, colleagues like teacher Marvin we used to have such overnights and boy the week week starts with an overnight of the word and it's beautiful such things make life matter praise the lord and how i pray that 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 the whole christendom comes to this place of appreciating what the word of god really is to us you see in scripture the bible is very clear in the book of first peter that desire you the sincere milk of the word that you may be able to grow thereby and i remember in sunday school we 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 we, need, we, we used to sing a song that goes by read your bible pray every day pray every day pray every day read your bible pray every day if you want to grow now you see those days we were just enjoying the song but nowadays we know that if you desire the sincere milk of the word everything about us began by the word salvation you receive the word you accept it in your heart you receive jesus christ as your personal lord and savior you become born again it starts with the word our growth starts by the by by by, by us desiring the sincere milk of the word it's Cuts again with the word. Praise the Lord. How can you then leave what makes your foundation? The word is so precious. The word is something very, very, very precious. Um, we are continuing with our with our math math of uh, the prophetic. Praise the Lord Jesus. It's a beautiful math. Hallelujah math of a prophetic i've come to understand very many things concerning the prophetic realm concerning the prophets how these things work the devotions are wonderful i'm sure everyone is enjoying our father is feeding us well praise the lord and even today we are going to do something very important we are doing um the dynamics of of, of, of prophetic insights we want to understand uh, how prophetic insights come how do they work praise the lord the dynamics of prophetic insights it's a it's a, it's a very important thing for us to understand these things um prophecy is something very good but we also need to understand the foundations of where it comes from and how prophecy is received how do we receive insights so some people make it so spiritual and and you know they want to they want to make all things look like oh boy you have to first speak in tongues you have to fast fast and then you get a prophecy and they forget that we have the spirit of god upon our lives men this spirit such as even the deep things of god amen praise the lord 
gone are the days when in the Old Testament, in uh, the book of Jeremiah 33, he would tell us, Call unto me, and I'll answer you, and I'll show you great and mighty things which thou knowest not. You see, there was a first time where you had to first seek God, you look for his face. There's even a scripture that says, hey, look for God. It's important to seek God in the times when he can still be found. Praise the Lord. But God is good We are in times where God is in us. God reigns in us. The Bible says that, that God was made flesh. Praise Jesus Christ. We have the imprinting of the Spirit. We have the Spirit of God as our seal upon our face, upon our hearts. Oh, God. Oh, my God. This is so precious. We need to understand this thing that that we have God on the inside of us. It's a mystery that was hid from ages past and it's now being revealed that Christ in us, the hope of glory. You see now, we are in a realm, we are, we are in a dispensation where we are not seeking for God. We are at, at a place of God, where are you? Because we know where to find him. And now we have his voice on the inside of us. He speaks to us. He communicates to us. That's what he wants. Praise the Lord. He wants to have a relationship with us. And oh, you need to understand that hey, prophecy comes because of the relationship that we have with God. The communication, the communion that we have with the Holy Spirit is what makes prophecy because as you commune with the Holy Spirit, He's able to tell you what is coming next, what is happening, where you are able to know what is happening in lands that you've not even stepped into. You are able to know what is happening in people's lives that you've even not seen, you've not met them. But the Holy Spirit, because He's your friend, He knows how to tell you how to minister to those people. Why? Because prophecy is for ministry. Prophecy is not for personal gain. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Prophecy is for ministry. As the Lord is revealing, as the Holy Spirit is revealing such things to you, He's literally giving you direction on how to minister to some people. He's giving you direction on how to help people out. He's giving you direction on how to help establish men, on how to give people solution. So prophecy is for ministry, not for personal gain. Praise the Lord. Gone are the days when we, 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 we used to value men that 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 use prophecy for their personal gain there are those days but praise the lord now that enlightenment came prophecy helps us to minister to men hallelujah prophecy helps us to be ministered to and as you receive this prophecy these prophecies, it is it is imperative that you pick the insight of the Lord. What is the Lord saying concerning your prophecy? What is the Lord saying concerning that prophecy that is coming? Concerning that, that, that inward voice that you have? What is the Lord saying? And when you understand that your life becomes beautiful, your prophecy sharpens your relationship with God. Because as... As, as you receive insight, so you, you, you know what purpose is then. Purpose is made manifest through prophecy. You As, as you receive insights, you know what the Lord wants you to do, how the Lord wants you to deal with stuff. These things become open. Praise the Lord. Now that is that is a New Testament creature. That is the new, the, the reborn you and me. But we need to understand from from ages past, how were our patriarchs receiving these things? A quick look at uh, the book of uh, Numbers, chapter 12. Start from Numbers, chapter 12. Numbers, chapter 12. I will start, I will read verse 6. Numbers, chapter 12, verse 6. The Bible says, And he said, The Bible says, And he said, Hear now my words. If there be a prophet among you, I the Lord will make manifest, will make myself known unto him in a vision, and will speak unto him in a dream. I will read the scripture. He said, Hear now my words. If there be a prophet among you, I, the Lord, will make myself known unto him in a vision 
and I will speak unto him in a dream. Now I want us to understand two things. There is a place where God makes himself known unto humanity. There is also a place where God speaks to humanity. Now, it's true that in those days God would speak to everybody. Hallelujah. In those days God would speak to everybody. God even, uh, the Bible says that the angel of his presence came and spoke to, 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 to a horse. For donkey, you, you some of these things seem to be easy until you you sit back and say, okay, okay, okay. When God wants to wanted to make Himself known unto men, He provided a vision. When He wanted to speak to men, He brought a dream. Why is it like that? Praise the Lord. So visions are the primary way through which God revealed Himself to prophets. Visions. Visions would show, pro- would show prophets the physicality of the, of the spiritual realm. Through a vision, a prophet is carried into the spirit and they see things in the physical. Like they see them physically. In, in, a, in a vision, you see things physically. You can even be seated consciously. Seated somewhere and, and the Holy Spirit carries you into a, into a vision. Praise the Lord. And, and, and you start seeing things physically. You start seeing what is happening in different countries, different nations, among, among people. So, 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 so you see visions physically, consciously. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. But a, a sound that comes as a speech is not usually physical does not may not necessarily show you what 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 the the intent of the, of, of the communicator for example someone can speak to you concerning a thing and you even don't understand what they are saying but they have spoken praise the lord but with a vision you are able to see things Clearly, like you see that, okay, this is a man being tormented by spirits, devils, and I need to cast them out. You see, you see that this nation wants to be established in this thing. There is a cry. You are able to see with your physical eyes. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, that's why when God wanted to reveal himself, he was able to show men visions. But now we need to understand that this is the life of the prophets in the Old Testament, not in the New Testament. We started with the life of the prophets in the Old Testament. How were they receiving the prophetic insights? You will appreciate the difference between our patriarchs and us. You will appreciate this at the end of the teaching. But we first need to get to understand this. Um, We need to understand that in the New Testament, for example, God communicates to believers through the inward witness and the inward voice of the Holy Spirit. Amen? The inward witness, the inward voice of the Holy Spirit, and the direct voice of the Holy Spirit. Now, that is the New Testament. That is the new, the the reborn you and me. Praise the Lord. Visions and dreams only come to affirm God's message that is already imprinted in the prophet's reborn spirit, in your in your reborn spirit and in my reborn spirit. So I can receive a vision, but it, that vision just comes to affirm what is imprinted in my reborn spirit. Why? Because I have the spirit of God, which is the source of these prophecies on the side of me. So come on, we need to appreciate that the spirit of God works out the prophecies first, first establishes these prophets the, 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 these prophecies in our spirits then by the time I come to get a dream or a vision there is a testimony of this prophecy in my spirit praise the Lord Jesus Christ hallelujah now let us first understand how do visions work how do visions work primarily visions are in two dimensions according to scripture visions um, when you study the book of uh, Genesis for example Chapter 15, Genesis chapter 15, verse 1. The Bible says that, um, Genesis chapter 15, verse 1, the Bible says that after these things, the word of the Lord came unto Abram in a vision. (laughs) 
the word of God came unto Abraham in a vision. Praise the Lord. Now you see how, how visions work. You even see the word of God coming to you. That's how, what I was saying, that visions make the spiritual world physical. Like you see things, even if it is a word, you see it coming to you. It says that the word of God came unto Abraham in a vision, saying, Fear not, Abraham. I am thy shield and thy exceeding great reward. Praise the Lord. Now, Abraham saw the word of God in a vision. And that word vision there, the Hebrew word for that word is, is mechaze. That's a Hebrew word. And that word means to perceive. Remember, we are in a vision, but it means to perceive. And it comes from a, a Hebrew word, chaza, which also means to perceive. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. I want us to, to understand this thing. It is a word, it has come, but this word is perceived in a vision. Amen? And, and, and this kind of a vision um, is so much passive. It is not so much physical. Like, you can be in a vision and you're perceiving things concerning men. Everywhere, concerning things around you, concerning yourself, in a vision. And, and you're perceiving these things. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, that is a vision. The, the difference, the, the second dimension of a vision is in Genesis chapter 46, verse 2. I want us to appreciate these things. Genesis chapter 46, verse 2. Genesis chapter 46, verse 2. The Bible says, and God spake unto Israel in visions of, of the night, and said, Jacob, Jacob. And he said, here I am. Now, this word vision here means is mirror in the Hebrew. And it means it's a mode of revelation. And this word also means beholding as in a glass. Like you behold something. Here you see something. The first vision, the first vision in the book of uh, Genesis 15.1, that vision is to perceive. Mechaza. It, it means to, to perceive. And in Genesis 46 verse 2, the word vision there, mera, means to behold as in a glass. Now, I want us to note that these words are both, these two experiences are both visions. But one has everything to do with a person's perception. Like you are carried, you're seeing things, but you are seeing things in a way of a perception. You're just receiving insights concerning these particular things. And now this, the second dimension is where you're not receiving insights, but you're seeing actual things, actual events happening. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, concentrating, concentrating on on on, uh, on Mechaza, I want us to, to also study one other scripture in, in, in Numbers chapter 24, verse 4. The Bible says, and he has said... Which had, which had the words of God, which saw the vision of the Almighty falling into a trance, but having his eyes open. I want, us to follow, I want you to follow with me clearly. Said, had the word of God, which saw the vision, the Almighty falling into a trance, having his word open, his eyes open. Now, and that word, their vision, is also Mechaza. Now, there is also a concept of a trance here. A trance is a is an is, is an experience where one 
is carried literally like 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 you're in a 3D movie. You you are you are happening in the in the in the vision itself. It's like you are part of the vision. There is a place where God carries you to a place, to a realm, to a dimension, and starts showing you things. But these things are out. You are outside the events that you're seeing. But in a trance, you are carried to a dimension where you are actually included in the things that you're seeing. You're seeing. It's like you have a part to play. Praise the Lord. And 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 this is also another different dimension of a vision, a trance. Praise the Lord. And it has everything to do with, with perception. Because for as much as you are in that experience, you should be able to decipher what is happening around me. You should be able to decipher what is what is the Lord communicating. And everything has to do with the perception. What do you perceive in the acts that you're doing? What you perceive in what you see around you? Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. While at a place of beholding us in a glass, the Bible says, uh, for example, you can you can you can not the scripture, Second Corinthians chapter 13, verse 8. Verse 18 says, But we all with open with open face, beholding us in a glass, the glory of the Lord are changed into the same image from glory to glory, even as by the Spirit of the Lord. Praise the Lord. And this is a common scripture that we, we, we always recite everywhere. Get this understanding that men were carried into visions and they, 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 they had an effect of a vision. The vision that, that they saw created an effect on them. They are actually changed into the same image. The Moses experience where he comes down the mountain and 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 God tells him, hey, cover your face. Why? Because whatever he saw, whatever he experienced, brought an an, an expression of itself on his body. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. And now those were the realms through which our our patriarchs got, got, got visions from. But we, we also need to understand, after understanding that it was first visions and dreams. Now, dreams are, um, are, are gotten in our subconscious minds. Uh, sometimes you are sleeping, you're not really active. You That's that's a dream. And, 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 and dreams are more volatile than visions. Why? Because visions are a bit physical. You are experiencing the spiritual realm in the physical, but with a dream, you are just receiving things passively. You are experiencing things in your mind that you're not even understanding. And and I'll say, for example, Job chapter 20 verse 8 says, Job chapter 20 verse 8, Job chapter 20 verse 8, Says he shall fly away as a dream and shall not be found. Yeah, he shall be chased away as a vision of the night. Now you see this scripture shows you that a dream can easily fly. It shows you the light weight of a dream. It shows you the light weight of a dream. But this in essence does not mean that dreams can be gotten by uh, dreams can be interpreted by, by those that are young in the spirit. Actually, dreams, for you to interpret a dream, you should have a sudden mastery in the in the things of the spirit. Dreams are for the mature. Dreams are not for the young ones. Praise the Lord. You we shall understand. We are going to read the next scripture very soon. You, you are going to understand that dreams are for the mature, those that have been established somehow in the things of the spirit. But now visions are for the young men. Why? Because of their their physicality. You are experiencing things. This, they are energy consuming. That's why you even have to be their chest. You see, it, it, it even consists an energy. It's a consumption of energy. It's for those that are still have the energies. They still can still work out certain things. Those are visions. But dreams are a bit... They're intricate. You can receive a dream. 
And you see, there are those things that um, God will easily instruct you that look for an elder. <laughs> the scripture says that if you're sick, look for an elder in the church so they impart healing upon your lives. That doesn't mean that you cannot pray sickness out of you. You can, but at a certain point of life, you will need an elder. You will need someone who has gained mastery. An elder is not one who is of old age. An elder is one who has gained mastery in a certain thing. Amen? An elder is not one who has spent a thousand years in, 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 a, in, a, in an experience. But an elder is one who has who has mastery. A man spent more than 30 years at a, at a pool. But this man had not yet gotten the wisdom of how to get into the pool first, such that he gets healing. At that point, we say this man had not yet gained mastery. So he wasn't an elder. You cannot consult him on how to fall into the pool when the angel of the Lord is going to stir up the waters. Praise the Lord. But but there is another man who can come and just gets one experience and he knows, oh, this is how things are done. And by that experience, he is able to instruct others. He is able to help others. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, that is a man, however little time he has spent in that experience, for as long as you have mastered the art of the experience, you become able to instruct others in the same. You become able to cast a light to others such that they can easily follow through those same paths. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, I was saying that dreams are taken to men who have gained mastery. Otherwise, you're going to find people that interpret dreams the wrong way. They interpret dreams according to how this world has taught them, how, how the old man has taught them, how they have suffered a lot, according to the, 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 the prejudices they have, according to very many sayings or the old wives fibbles as scripture calls them. Praise the Lord. Now, those are not the ones that, that, that have to interpret dreams. You're going to understand why. We are going to understand why. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Joel chapter 2 verse 28 says that, And it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out the Spirit upon all flesh. And your spirit, sorry, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your old men shall shall dream dreams and the young men shall see visions so you see like i was saying that the old men dream dreams and the young men see visions there's a difference as to why it's, it, it, dreams were taken to the old men and visions are still at the level of the young men because young men still need clarity Praise the Lord. You still need clarity. The Lord has to show you physically. The Lord has to express himself to you such that you get to know who is God. Remember we said in our opening scripture, we said in our opening scripture that, that the Lord makes himself known unto prophets through a vision. So God wants to make himself known unto you, the young one, through a dream. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. But to those that have known him, he can now start speaking to them. And then now we, 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 we will easily understand that uh, God shows himself the young ones. Those that have understood him just pick instruction and go away. They just work on the instruction that he has given. Because they, 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 they can testify that the Lord has spoken even when they have not seen him. When you know your man of God, for example, when you know someone, let me give an example. Those that know me, even when I speak from someone, they, they've not seen me physically, but they've heard my voice, they'll know that Pastor Solomon has spoken. That is Pastor Solomon speaking. Now that is the experience of a vision that's as a dream, because dream as 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 speeches that come that, that 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 come in the subconscious mind. God does not need you to be conscious to communicate to you in a dream. You have to first sleep. Now it takes a man that has understood how dreams work. That under, that has understood 
the ways of the Lord to interpret a dream. And we should also note that the devil can can as well bring a dream to people. <laughs> Some people think that that, that, that dreams are by themselves, that, that are, are by God. So every dream they have, they have to look for things concerning God. What is God communicating? When it's actually the devil that was communicating. And sometimes we also give ourselves a lot to certain things and we invite dreams. Like for example, young, there's a young man that, 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 that spoke to me concerning a young girl and said, Papa, I, 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 I. God has spoken to me in dreams concerning this young girl. And later on, after a few questions, my interviews, I realized that the young boy just was just uh, having butterflies concerning the girl and so would spend the whole day thinking about this girl. And at the end of the day, you have dreams concerning the girl. Praise Jesus Christ. When it's not actually God speaking to you, when it's not the, 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 the was it the intent of the Holy Spirit that you would bring to you a dream? But you have filled your mind with this particular thing so much, and at the end of the day, you end up dreaming about it. Hallelujah, praise to God. Visions don't come that way. You cannot experience a vision because you thought about a thing. Visions come because the Lord is specifically communicating to you. While dreams, you can feel a thing in your mind, and later on in your subconscious mind, it replays. It's like a movie. It replays. It replays. It keeps on resurfacing. Praise Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And that's how they work. Dreams are for older men. Visions are for young men. Dreams require wisdom. The wisdom of the Lord to be interpreted. Job chapter 32 verse 7 says that is very clear. says that, that, that they speak and a multitude of years should teach wisdom. So as days are speaking, the multitude of years speaks wisdom. That's why I told you that dreams, you need the wisdom of the Lord. You need men that have, you know, time in the spirit realm is not, is not like the time in the physical realm. One day is akin to a thousand days. Praise the Lord. One day of the Lord is akin to a thousand days. To a thousand, sorry, one year is akin to a thousand days. Now, 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 when you understand that, you will understand that uh, in the spirit, for you to gain, for you to gain a multitude of years, you just need an experience with the Lord. You can get a, a, a two seconds experience, and oh boy, it's a it's a it's a million years on this world. Just two seconds. Why? Because the spirit realm time works differently. So days speak, days speak, but a multitude of years teach wisdom. Teach wisdom. Teach wisdom. A multitude of years teaches wisdom. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord Jesus. And that was the life of our patriarchs. It was as simple as that. You get a vision. God expresses himself to you through a vision. He speaks to you through dreams. Hallelujah. But praise the Lord for what is what came with, 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 with the indwelling of the Spirit upon our lives. We no longer fetch things from a pharaoh. We have the imprint of the Spirit upon our lives. Hallelujah. We have the imprint of the Spirit upon our lives. So now what happens in the in the in the in our reborn spirits? I'm talking about now the born agains. I'm talking about the born agains. What happens in our reborn spirit? How do we receive prophecies? How do we receive prophetic insights? Praise the Lord. The first one, and this is the first level. Now, one time Zay was teaching and he told us that we are all prophets at different levels. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Why? Because we have the Spirit of the Lord dwelling on the inside of us. We have the Spirit of the Lord dwelling on the inside of us. So with that Holy Spirit, who is able to even search the deep things of God, we cannot fail to receive insights in actually... The Holy Spirit keeps on communicating to us in various ways. Hallelujah. The inward witness is the first level. The inward witness is the first level. The Bible in the book of Romans, chapter 8, verse 16, it's very clear. The Bible says that the 
spirit itself beareth witness with our spirit. The spirit itself beareth witness with our spirit that we are the children of God. The spirit itself beareth witness with our spirit that we are the children of God. Romans chapter 8 verse 16. Hallelujah to God. It's a beautiful scripture. Sometimes you wonder how these things work. You wonder why, how is it is to receive prophetic insight. The answer is here, the first level. It's the easiest way. What is the witness of the Holy Spirit that indwells you? What is the communication of the Holy Spirit that indwells you? Let's first understand that this is the first level of prophetic insights. The Holy Spirit floods our spirit with divine impressions that, 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 that make us perceive or sense what God is saying in our heart of hearts. You see, as the Holy Spirit is able to make petitions on our behalf, the Holy Spirit knows the heart of God. So, the Holy Spirit takes it upon himself to flood our spirit with divine impressions. As he is receiving from the Father God, he also imprints them on our spirits. Praise the Lord. And, and, and that's how the Holy Spirit works. Not that this is, a, this, this is not a voice, but it's an inward promnition. It is, it is it is cast in one's spirit as a strong urge or impression concerning people or places. It is, it is, this is not the voice of God. This is not the voice of the Holy Spirit. I want you to note this. It's not the voice of the Holy Spirit, but it is the impression. It is the inward premonition. You can sit there and the Holy Spirit is has, has put it upon your life to do a thing. The Holy Spirit is telling you, give. But he's, he has not spoken, but you just feel a weight on your heart to give. You just feel a weight on your heart to pray for someone. You just feel a weight on your heart to pray for a place. You just feel up. You just, you, 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 you perceive you perceive, sorry, sorry, you don't feel, you perceive, you perceive in your heart. And take note this, take to take note of this, that that uh, we, we spiritually perceive, we don't feel, we don't feel, we spiritually perceive. Feelings are a voice of the flesh. So we don't spiritually feel. It's, it's the flesh that feels. And, and, and uh, just like reasoning is a voice of the mind. So you perceive the Holy Spirit telling you. You perceive a communication. You perceive a weight on your heart to do a thing, to speak a thing, to declare a thing. Praise the Lord. To plant a thing, to establish a thing. Praise the Lord. A beautiful scripture in the book of John chapter 5, um, verse 6, says that when Jesus saw him lie, when Jesus saw him lie and knew that he had been now long time in that case, he said unto him, Hallelujah, praise the Lord, praise Jesus Christ, praise Jesus Christ. Now, we need to understand that, 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 that the prophetic insights at a, in a new reborn, in a new reborn spirit, are basically founded by the working of the Holy Spirit. They're founded by the working of the Holy Spirit. They have nothing to do with the, with any spiritual gymnastics. It's basically the working of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Now the second one, the second level of, of, of our prophetic insights is the, the inward voice. The first one, we talked about 
the inward witness. The second one, we are talking about the inward voice. The Bible in the book of Romans chapter 9, verse 1. Romans chapter 9, verse 1. The Bible says, I say the truth in Christ, I lie not. My conscience also bearing me witness in the Holy Ghost. I say the truth in Christ, I lie not. My conscience also bearing me witness in the Holy Ghost. Praise Jesus Christ. Now, we need to understand that our consciences can be a channel for communication for the communication of, of, of the Holy Spirit why one because of the purification that happens that happened the purification um, the book of, the, of, of, of Hebrews chapter 9 uh, verse 14 says how much more shall the blood of Christ who through the eternal spirit offered himself through the or offered, offered himself without spot to God purged your conscience from dead works to serve the living God. You see, there was a purging that came by the offertory of the Son of God. There was a purging of your conscience. And, and, and now, that purification that, that is of your conscience is what makes your conscience eligible for communication, for a channel of communication by the Holy Spirit. Praise Jesus Christ. And that only makes the Holy Spirit be able to communicate through your conscience. Otherwise, remember that the conscience is part of the, of the, of the, the conscience is part of the spirit. It's a part of the spirit. And before, before the fall of man, when man fell, everything funny happened to the Holy to the Spirit of man. Everything happened, funny, happened to the spirit of man. So man's spirit had to be purged a certain way and it, it had to receive a certain purification such that now there is a reconnection and there can now be fellowship. When man fell, their fellowship could not happen between him and, and God. After the fall of man, there was literally no fellowship between man and God. When Jesus Christ comes, purifies us, the Bible says by the washing of water, by the word, amen, purifies us and, and purges our consciences, amen, from all dead works, the Bible says that now we are able to communicate with the Holy Spirit. Now the purification of your conscience from sin uh, and, 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 and being purged from dead works allows God to communicate to your mind through the reborn spirit. It is actually the reborn spirit that, 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 that works in us, that creates these. All prophets, including uh, patriarchs, received God's message through dreams and visions and physical encounters because none of them was born again. So in the first place, when we talked about dreams, when we talked about visions, we were talking about our patriarchs. We were talking about the first prophets. Why? Because they were not born again. They were not born again. So God would not communicate through their consciences. God would not literally had no way of communicating through their, their spirit. Why? Because there was a separation of holiness between their spirit and and God, God is holy. Be ye holy. God cannot use a vessel that is not patched. Second Timothy 2.20 20 teaches some of those things. You see, we, we, when we look at a great house, a great house has vessels of honor and vessels of dishonor. But you realize that the vessels of honor are because they've allowed to be purged. They've purged themselves to particular things. And the vessels of dishonor, yet still in the great house, they have not yet purged themselves. So you can be here asking yourself why you are not basically receiving such insights from God and the Holy Spirit. The answer is simple. Purge yourself. 
purge yourself. There is a working that happens when, 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 when you exude a certain holiness. There is a working that happens when you see... Paul is telling the Corinthians in, 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 in 7 of Corinthians, tells them that perfect ye the holiness. This is a way you ought to present yourself. Let me tell you, even worship. The Bible says that we worship the Lord in the beauty of his holiness. In the beauty of holiness, we worship the Lord. We can only fellowship with God when the matter of holiness is put into perspective. So God communicates these insights to in levels by the way. Your holiness determines yes we know that we have received uh, the holiness which is by the Holy Spirit. That is true. But don't forget that we also have to continually purge ourselves. Paul instructs us. Paul gives us this instruction to continually purge yourself, separate yourself from certain things. Praise Jesus Christ. Separate yourselves to certain things. Create time to fellowship with God. Create time to love on the Lord. Create time to adore God. God will communicate to you. And this is the simple this is the second level. God communicates. It's our conscience that bears witness to God's voice by the Holy Spirit. But let me tell you, the Holy Spirit loves vessels of honor. That's why it's very clear. It's very clear. Let me tell you. Let me concentrate on Hebrews chapter 9, verse 14. I want to show you something. That uh, scripture is clear that that that, that uh, through the eternal spirit, Christ offered himself without spot to God, purge your, to purge your conscience, from dead works, eh, huh? and to serve the living God. But do you also note that God only uses vessels of honor? Vessels of dishonor are not fit for the master's use. And like I said, that vessels of honor, vessels of honor, vessels of honor are because they've purged themselves from particular things. So your continual consecrations, your continual sanctification is very important at this realm. Yes, we are all born of the Spirit. That is true. We are all born again. That is true. But God is very specific with the people he uses. God is very specific. Praise the Lord. Not that in this dimension, prophecy is received through a still, small voice. We are talking about the inward voice. It is a still, small voice in our hearts which reflects in our mind with precision and clarity. It is a voice you, you hear the voice of God. It is gentle. It is calm. It is still. Praise Jesus Christ. You hear the voice of God. Hallelujah. A clear example is uh, the Spirit. In Acts chapter 11, verse 12, the Bible says, And the Spirit bade me go with them, nothing doubting. Moreover, these six Brethren accompanied me and we entered into the man's house. This dimension, you see, with even this voice, there is a there comes a dimension of boldness. There is a certain way you become bold. Why? Because you have had a voice. You have had, there is an expression of the voice of God. So when you start prophesying, you prophesy because and because you're sure God has spoken to you. Most times men miss out on uh, on the on the on the on the on the on the inward witness because it's not a voice. You just need discernment. But now with a with the inward voice, yet it is gentle, but it is a voice. You can hear the voice. You can hear the voice of God speaking to you. Praise the Lord. And Lastly, 
the last the, the last dimension to the to the reborn spirit is the direct voice of God. The direct voice of God. Acts chapter 10 uh, verses 19 to 20 is very clear on this. Um, Acts chapter 10 verse 19 verses 19 to 20. It says while Peter thought on the vision, the spirit said unto him, Behold, three men seek thee. Arise therefore and get thee down and go with them, doubting nothing, for I have sent them. Praise the Lord. And now this is the direct voice of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is communicating with a direct voice, speaking to Peter. Praise the Lord. The direct voice of the Holy Spirit is authoritative is an authoritative. Yes, God is gentle. The Holy Spirit is gentle. The Holy Spirit is gentle. Yes, it is still a still small voice, but this one, the difference between this and the and the and the and the inward voice is this one is more authoritative. It is an instruction. It 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 carries a weight of an instruction. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. It carries a weight of an instruction. It is, it is, it is, it is, it resounds in our hearts and minds. It is as, as an emphatic message from God. You see, it comes with a certain weight. It can even reverberate it in your heart for, for, for days, for, for, for a longer period of time. Why? Because it's an instruction. It's usually a voice of instruction and affirmation and uh, or rebuke. It's so clear that one can't miss it. That's the direct voice of God. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. You remember the instruction God gave to these men as they were fasting in the book of Acts still, chapter 13, verse 2. Uh, uh, the Bible says that as they ministered to the Lord and fasted, the Holy Ghost said, separate me Barnabas and Saul for the work where unto I have called them. It was an instruction. Here God is not pleading. He comes directly and tells you, men, this is what we are doing. The Holy Spirit instructs you and it's it's authoritative. It's not like a pleading in the, in the, in the, in the, in the inward voice God is speaking to you. He's, he's gentle. The Holy Spirit is gentle while communicating in the direct voice of God. It is still gentle, but it comes with authority. Praise the Lord. And now, it is a blessedness, men and, and brethren, to understand that the, 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 the reborn spirit of you can now fellowship with the Holy Spirit to receive prophetic insights. Because they are, these are basically them. Yes, we still receive visions and dreams, but it's a beauty to 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 work with that with that with that with an inward voice. Don't wait for a dream. Let a dream come to ascertain, like we say, to ascertain what the voice of God is saying. Let a vision come to to to, to affirm. What is, what is already spoken to you by the Holy Spirit? Praise the Lord. That's why it's very dangerous for you to go and start receiving prophecy when, when, when you do not have a relationship with God. Because how will you prove the prophecy? You can only prove that prophecy when you relate it with the communication of the Holy Spirit that is on the inside of you. Praise Jesus Christ. You can only prove the prophecy when you work it out with the communication, with the insights of the Holy Spirit that is on this side of you. Hallelujah. Praise Jesus Christ. Glory to God. Glory to God. It's such a blessedness for us to receive these prophecies. It's such a blessedness for us to fellowship with the Holy Spirit. Let me tell you, the Holy Spirit is the father of prophecies. The Holy Spirit is the is the, is the communicator of prophecies in our in our in our in our dispensation. It's a Holy Spirit. It starts with the Holy Spirit as it's communicating with you. You pick prophecies as it's communicating with you. You pick insights. That is the work of the Holy Spirit. Praise the Lord. He makes prophecy easy. I was telling one of 
the sons in the ministry that the prophetic realm is not is not like a, uh, is not a dimension of gymnastics why because we have the holy spirit he's able to show us insights right from 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 impressions on our hearts on our spirits to a still small voice to an authoritative still small voice the holy spirit then because he's working in you prophecy becomes easy you can easily prove a prophecy hallelujah to god you can easily prove a prophecy you can easily receive a prophecy you can easily work with a prophetic realm so our father told and told us that we can be prophets at any dimension you just need to fellowship with god you just need to allow the holy spirit to work in you you just need to allow the holy spirit be evident in you you just need to allow the holy spirit be that person to you and that is all it takes we don't need any gymnastics in this praise the lord as you fellowship with the holy spirit he's able to open up things to you those days we would call out to god and and seek him these days we just fellowship with him why because he's on the inside of us i showed you the difference jeremiah 33 says the uh, call out to me and i'll answer you and show you great and mighty things these days we are not calling god to come no he's on the inside of us as you're praying you're praying for a person you can easily see insights god the holy spirit can easily communicate to you how you need to pray for a person how you need to pray for a, for a place how you need to pray for a job how you need to pray for a country how you need to pray for a wife how you need to pray for your children those that you have those that you don't have the holy spirit can give insight and wisdom Praise Jesus Christ. It's a blessedness to have the Holy Spirit on the inside of us. It's a blessedness to always fellowship with the Holy Spirit. It's a blessedness. Child of God, don't take this for granted. Don't ever, ever take this for granted. And I want to warn Christians. There are those that, 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 that God will communicate to. And they hear the voice. Or they even perceive a thing and they leave it at that. They don't take action. When prophecy comes, like I said, prophecies for ministry, when prophecy comes, prophet prophets attracts a corresponding action. Yes. You are the head and not the tail. That doesn't mean that you're going to go to bed and start sleeping and you become the head. No, you have to work. The Bible says that study to show yourself approved a workman. Yes, as much as he has made us ministers, able ministers, this is also a place where we started to make ourselves approved workmen. Not ashamed of dividing the word of God. Every prophecy attracts an apparent work. Every prophecy attracts an apparent action. Every prophecy. I've not seen a prophecy that that doesn't attract an action. Because prophecy comes to instruct. And if you don't work on the instruction, you are you are neglecting the word of God. You are neglecting the, 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 the inspiration of the Holy Spirit. You are neglecting the direction of the Holy Spirit. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. I want to warn the body of Christ. The body of Christ. Do not ever, ever, ever get to a place where every communication, however little it is, however simple it is, take it serious. Because the Holy Spirit communicates on purpose. The Holy Spirit doesn't communicate anyhow. Every time there's a communication of the Holy Spirit, there's a purpose. Even if it's just as simple as go and sleep, there is a purpose for us why he's telling you to go and sleep. Go and sleep. Don't take things for granted. That's how the spirit realm works. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Glory to God for today. Glory to God. 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 Thank you so much for today. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus Christ. I want to pray for someone. Uh, if you're sick in your body, um, 
and you need healing, let's pray, Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for even the word that we have shared. The Bible says that you cleanse us by the word that you spoke to us. Thank you, King of glory, for you work in us daily. You work in us to establishment. You work in us to give us wisdom. Thank you, King Jesus Christ, that as the word comes, simplicity comes. As the word comes, application comes. Thank you, Jesus Christ, because you even heal us by this word. The Bible says that those that find it, Oh my God, it becomes health to their flesh. My God, I speak to broken bones. I speak to the sick. I speak, Lord Father, to sick skins. My God, I cleanse them by this word in the name of Jesus Christ. I rebuke all sicknesses of the heart in the name of Jesus. We instruct those hearts to get whole in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, we instruct them. We instruct them to come back to health in the name of Jesus Christ. Is an epileptic person, Lord Father, you want to heal. We thank Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, for this, my God. We cancel it out in the name of Jesus. Rebuke it. Rebuke it in the name of Jesus. I rebuke that epilepsy, my God. It goes, it goes, it goes. It goes out of this child in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for you make this person whole. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you. Oh, my God. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Thank you for you make them whole again. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. And every body that needs healing in the body in their body, in their flesh, in their mind, oh God, I speak healing I speak healing, I speak healing, I establish it therein in the name of Jesus Christ, thank you Holy Spirit, I bless everybody that is under the sound of my voice, oh God they shall be blessed, they shall be blessed, they shall be established in this word, they shall learn how to fellowship with you, they shall open up your, their hearts to you King of Glory, I thank you thank you my God, even for the offertory people are giving. I thank you. I establish them in their finances. Thank you, Holy Spirit. And now, somebody could be listening to me and, and, and you have not yet received Christ as a personal Lord and Savior. I want to tell you the truth. The Holy Spirit works only with the born again. If you have not yet received Christ, the Holy Spirit has no dealing with you. After all, the Holy Spirit comes after you have been established and, and, and you have been sealed off by the, by, by the word and you have received Christ. So you can please receive Christ with me. You can repeat after me, dear Lord, thank you for today. Thank you for your word. Thank you for loving me. Thank you for dying on the cross for me. And today I declare that I'm born again. I am free from sin. I am your child in Jesus' mighty name. Praise the Lord. Thank you so much. Look for our nearest church. Uh, you can look for our stream. Uh, uh, you, can, you, can, you can follow us on Facebook. You can contact the number on, on our screen. You, 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 you will surely be helped how to, with how to grow in this word. Thank you so much for listening to me. Um, Thank you so much for this time. Have a blessed week. Shalom.